Welcome to the BYU Salt Lake Center Testing Center Training. In this video, I'll show you how to enter exam parameters online, such as answer keys and special conditions for taking tests. To get started, log into the Testing Center website at testing.byu.edu. Once you're on this homepage, make sure you're signed in by clicking the Sign In button at the top. Then navigate to the Faculty tab at the top and click on it. Then click on Test Delivery Information. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to a list of all the tests you have uploaded. In the far left column titled Test Setup, you'll see the name of the test. Then in the column titled Status, you'll see whether your test is closed, approved, or pending. To change the details, click on the Setup Needed link in the Test Setup column. This is the test title and description page. Enter the title of your test here. You also have the option to add a brief description of the test down here. If you've already made this test in the past and simply want to re-upload it for approval, you can click over here on the Select Previous Test slash Author New Test button. This page will show other exams made for the class's department. To help filter your search results, click on this drop-down menu here and select an option to help you find your test faster, such as Department, Instructor's Test, and Test by Barcode. These are the test details. If you know which test you'd like to upload, you can select it by clicking the Select button on the left side. This will complete the process and skip the remaining steps in this video. Now back to the standard test setup screen. Again, if you're not uploading a previous test, simply enter your title and description, then click the green Next button at the bottom. You're now on the scoring page. Here you'll decide how the test will be scored. You have three options to choose from. Entire test is machine scored on a testing center answer sheet, such as a Scantron, the entire test is scored by the instructor, and test contains a testing center scored portion and a written instructor scored portion. Once you've selected your scoring style, click Next. This is the test booklets page. Here you'll decide if students can either write on the booklets, cannot write on the booklets, and whether or not the testing center should shred the booklets after the test deadline. If you selected the mixed scoring option on the previous page, make sure to select how you want each scored portion to be handled here. Likewise, if you chose the option on the previous page that the instructor would score the entire exam by hand, this page will look like this, and you can add any comments you'd like printed on the cover sheet. Once you've made your decisions and filled in your details, click Next. This page will let you decide what portion of their score the students can see. The options are Score, Items Missed, and responses. You may also choose whether or not the students can see the scored portion immediately. Once you've decided, click Next. This is the Items Allowed page. Here you'll decide if students can take items to their exam, such as calculators, computers, books, etc. Clicking on the drop-down arrows for each of these sections will let you refine your parameters further. For example, after allowing books and notes, you can then specify if they are allowed an actual textbook, full page of notes, or only a 3x5 note card. You can also add any additional instructions you'd like printed on their bubble sheets or notes for only the testing center officials here. Once you've decided on and selected your parameters, click Next. If the test will be timed, select Yes on this page. If you choose Yes, you'll be asked what the time limit on the exam should be. After filling out this section, click Next. On this page, write down an alternative contact method, preferably a cell phone or some person the testing center can contact in regards to the exam if you are not available. Then click Next. This page is to inform the testing center how many different versions of the test there are. You must input at least one version of the test in order to move on. The Form text box will automatically fill with letters of the alphabet. Click Save Form Identifier to save the first version of the test. If you have multiple versions of the test, you will need to click Save Form Identifier until there are as many different entries under existing test forms as you have versions of the test. Then click Create Answer Keys. This will open another window. On this first page, input the number of questions there will be on your exam. On this page, you will set the answer keys for each version of the test you indicated before. This example shows an exam with three questions. You can use the tabs at the top to move between versions of the exam. If you want to vary the point values of the questions, use this section here. Then, fill in the answer key below. You can either click on the appropriate response for each question in the table here, or type in the letter of the correct response to the question in the Quick Key Insert text box, pressing Enter to move to the next question. Once you have completed the answer key, click Save Answer Key, then click Next. You will be taken to a window showing a summary of all your test's information. Review the information carefully. 
To double check that your test has been uploaded successfully, click down here on the green Upload Files button. This window will pop up and you can see here if the test file has uploaded successfully. If it was not uploaded successfully, try uploading it again by clicking here. Remember that tests must be in a PDF or Word format. If everything is correct, click Test Setup Complete, Submit Test Setup Information. To triple check that your test has been uploaded successfully, you can also attempt to download your test by clicking here. If you are not able to download your test, then that means that your test has not been uploaded. Once you submit the test setup information, you will be taken back to the page that lists all of your course's tests. The title of the test should now appear next to the test you were editing. If the title does not appear here, there may have been an error and you might have to submit the test information again. And that's how you edit the parameters of your exam. Be sure to watch our other videos to learn what else the Testing Center website has to offer.